In this video, we will discuss about the single bus organization of the data path inside a processor. And this is our architecture. Then, uh, what is a data path? And the uh, set of registers ALU and the interconnecting bus collectively referred to as the data path. Then, why this name single bus organization? Because here uh, there is only one internal processor bus. Then uh, that is why we will call this organization as a single bus organization. And this one is the uh, different, uh, these are the different components. This is our PC. PC is the program counter that will point to the next instruction to be executed or that will hold the address of the next instruction to be executed. Then MAR, MDR, these two registers are uh, used for communicating with the external memory system. What is memory address register and MDR is the memory data register. Then another command is uh, these registers that is uh, R0 through Rn, uh, Rn minus 1. They are R1, R0, R1, R2, Rn minus 1. The, the number of the registers depends on the type of the processor. And these registers are uh, used for programming purpose. That is, uh, while programming, programmer will use these registers for, to write program uh, or to include in their programs. Then another register is instruction register or IR. This register is used for storing the uh, fetched instruction. Then this, is, this, this one is the instruction decoder and a control logic. And uh, this will read the content of the instruction register and decode it and identify which, which instruction is there. Then based on that, that will generate the required control sequence or control signals for executing that instruction. Then another component is ALU. ALU as you know that, that is the arithmetic and a logic unit that will perform the arithmetic and a logic operations and uh, corresponding to that there is an ALU control lines and these lines will decide which operation to be performed by the ALU. Then, uh, uh, then Y, Z and TEM. These are the some special registers. Uh, uh, these registers they are not visible to the programmer for programming purpose but uh, they are used for storing the intermediate result during the execution of an instruction. Then another uh, component is there is a multiplexer. This A input of the ALU is connected through the multiplexer. This B input is directly connected to the internal uh, processor bus and the A input is connected through the multiplexer. That is uh, we can uh, give either constant for or Y register content to the ALU input, A input of the ALU. Then what is the purpose of the constant for? This constant for is, uh, we, we already know that PC is the uh, our program counter. So after fetching one instruction, the value of the PC has to be updated by or incremented by 4. So uh, that function will be done by the, uh, by using this constant for. So to increment the PC value, this constant for will be selected and uh, that will be added with the PC and the updated PC value will be generated. That is the use of the constant for. Then uh, to select either Y or constant for, there is a select control line. Then uh, whenever the value of the select control line is equal to 0, then constant for will be selected as the A input and when the value of the select line is equal to 1, then the Y register content will be selected as the A input. Then uh, uh, for readability purpose, while writing the select line, when, the, when we are giving a zero on the select line, we will call that as select for because constant for is selected. And similarly, when we are, while we are giving a one to the select line, then uh, that control line will be uh, written as select Y because Y will be selected during that uh, during that particular time. Then, uh, okay, th these are the control signals that we already discussed and this is our internal processor bus. So, these address lines and data lines uh, will be used for uh, communicating with the external memory system. 
these are uh, the different uh, components inside the uh, single bus organization of the data park. Next we have to discuss about how an instruction will be executed by our data path. To execute an instruction, the processor has to perform the following three steps. Step, one, step number one, fetch the content of the memory location pointed by the PC. The content of this location are interpreted as an instruction to be executed. That is IR is equal to content of the memory location pointed by PC. Step number two, assuming that the memory is byte addressable, increment the content of the PC by 4. That is PC is equal to PC plus 4. Step number three, carry out the action specified by the instruction in the IR. Step one and two, comprise the fetch phase. Step three is decode phase, execution phase and or right phase. This is our uh, single bus organization of the data path we have already discussed. Uh, the registers ALU and the interconnecting bus are collectively referred to as the data path. Uh, and uh, data path means uh, these connections are, uh, these are used for the uh, movement of the data inside the processor how the data will be moved. An instruction can be executed by performing one or more of the following operations in some specified sequence. Transfer a word of data from one processor register to another or to the ALU. Perform an arithmetic or logic operation and store the result in a processor register. Fetch the content of a given memory location and load them into a processor register, store a word of data from a processor register into a given memory location. So next uh, in the uh, next videos uh, we can discuss about the these different elementary operations.